Yo, what's up guys? Nash here coming at you with a brand new video and today we're talking about how you can go out and actually test influencers and sort of the schedule that I use when I'm going out and testing them. All right guys, so somebody asked me a few days ago, they were like, hey, you know, I know how to find influencers, I know how to find products, I know how to do all this stuff. It's just like the implementation on how I actually do it um, that I'm kind of struggling with. So hopefully this video will help you guys sort of get over the hump of, of how to actually implement the information and, and start getting results. So before I get started, I do want to say that I actually made a PDF file for you guys that you can actually follow along with the video. It's in the description below, there's a link, um, but you can just click on that, it's free, you can download it and you can kind of like follow along with what we're doing here. So without any further ado, let's jump in. This is sort of the, the schedule that I go over. I talk about it way more in depth in the actual PDF, so like I said, you can go ahead and download that. But um, yeah, so basically, just to sort of uh, you know talk about this, the first thing that you want to do is you need to have a niche, right? If you don't have a niche, then you're kind of stuck. So you need to find a niche, and number two, you need to find like I would say 40 to 50 influencers that have at least 50,000 followers, that have like you know 2% or higher engagement, that have uh, real comments that are you know relevant to your niche. All this different stuff, you need to find 40 to 50 of those. You need to message every single one of them and be like, yo, how much do you charge for a promotion? Ideally, I like to aim for pages with 50,000 to about 200,000 because those you can get for usually under $20 or maximum like 25, um, which is great for testing because it's not like high risk and uh, you could have a decent ROI, you know, if you start making some sales. So that's usually what I like doing. Once you have those, um, you'll probably get maybe, well, me personally, I usually get about a 70% return rate, um, and it usually takes anywhere from you know a couple hours to a couple days to hear back from them. But if you're just starting out, just depending on you know a bunch of different factors, you may get like only a 10% return rate. So just depends. Just keep reaching out to people and try to get about 40 to 50 on the list. Once you have that, uh, sort of make an Excel sheet that organizes all these people by uh, you know how many followers they have, what's their engagement rate, and also what the price is. And from there, you can kind of narrow it down to maybe five to seven influencers that you want to, to actually test out with. So once you have that information and you have maybe two to three products that you've done research on, not just random products, but products that you've done research on and you think will have a good chance of selling, then that's when we jump into the testing phase, which is what we're talking about right here. So basically, this is week one in the green. You're gonna test, uh, this is assuming that you have seven influencers, okay? If you have seven influencers and you have like two to three products, this is what I would do. Basically, it's one influencer day, a day, so influence one, two, three, four, one influencer a day, and say you're testing out three products, you're gonna test out one product a day. So the first day, influence one, product one, influencer two, product two, and so on and so forth. And then once you run out of products, then you're just gonna repeat product one with influencer four, two with five, and so on and so forth. What this will do is allow you to have um, a good idea of what influencers are working, which ones are fake, because sometimes even though you do a bunch of testing, you still find fake influencers, and what products are working for you. Because you don't want to just go balls to the wall and just like, you know, go all in on one product. You want to be able to test so you can kind of see what's working and what's not. So this is great for, for just testing it out. And honestly, this should cost you no more than like 100 to $120 total if you do it right for this entire week. So you do need some startup capital to, to get started with Instagram uh, influencer marketing, but I mean, 100, 120 bucks, you could easily make that in like two days at a minimum wage job. So it's not that big of a deal. Um, and uh, so moving on to week number two, this is assuming that you found a, a decent product and you found um, you know some decent influencers that are working. The entire purpose of this week is actually to test out your Instagram captions as well as the photos, okay? So you're gonna to wanna to make, um, in addition to, to this photo that you're using, we're not gonna use the same photo and caption that we used here. We're actually gonna use two different ones, so you're gonna to have to make two different photos and two different captions, and we're gonna test those out um, with the influencers that worked here. During this week, I'd also like to test out other influencers if possible, so you know you have your seven here, but I would I'd, you know, like to test out another two or three just to make sure uh, you know we're constantly increasing our Rolodex of influencers. So after you go through here, you should get an idea of what's working caption and photo wise. And then weeks three and four and so on is when you actually scale. And scaling is really easy. It's basically just buying more promotions. 
And at that point, at this point, it becomes super, super simple because you can actually start buying in bulk and getting cheaper uh, promotions. So what I'll do, I'll usually run anywhere from three to five promotions per day, but I'll reach out to the influencers like at the beginning of the week and I'll be like, hey, uh, let me, or how much do you charge for like three posts? And they'll give me usually like 20% discount or whatever it is. And uh, I'll basically tell them, all right, let's post on Monday, Thursday, and Sunday of this week. And then we're all set up. I say I'm doing it on a Sunday. I set all the promotions up on Sunday. And then I'm basically free and clear for the entire week in terms of promotions and money's just flowing in. So that's a great way to do it once you get to that point. But I only get to that point through the actual testing of it. Um, lastly, once you have all this stuff, you should have enough information, uh, assuming that you have a Facebook pixel installed, which you should. If you don't know how to do that, just go Google it. Uh, it's pretty easy. But yeah, have your Facebook pixel installed so that once you do this, you should have enough orders to the point where you can start doing Facebook marketing, which is where the real money's at. So really, uh, you need about 100 orders to start really doing lookalike audiences with Facebook. So if you need 100 orders, that's essentially like three to four orders a day um, doing this which in my opinion is super, super simple, especially if you're, if you're testing with this amount, uh, you know, at the, at the rate that this uh, program actually talks about. So if you guys want to, again, and uh, you know, want to follow along or whatever, go ahead and download it in the link below. It's free, you can check it out. And uh, you know, hopefully this is helpful for you guys because that's ultimately what we're trying to do. So if you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Let me know that you liked it because I don't know if you like it. If you don't like it, then hit the down button. But you know, if you like it, hit the thumbs up because that helps me out. Also, if you found some value and you're not already, why are you not already subscribed? Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell because that'll let you know as soon as I drop the dopest content on the internet that's all free, that's gonna help you guys get to at least $100 a day because that's our goal. And speaking of which, let me know what's in the way of you guys not getting to $100 a day. Be it uh, you know your traffic, your product, what is in the way of you not being able to make $100 a day. Let me know in the comments or hit me up on IG, it's at Nash Hagen. I respond to all comments and uh, yeah, just let me know. And I will see you guys tomorrow. I need you in the morning.